Not done with the fuselage kit, but we're moving on. Getting blocked in the fuselage kit means let's try the first step of the tail kit. Can we build the vertical stabilizer in one day? Stay tuned and find out. gears a little bit this week and started to do something a little bit different. Well, we're kind of blocked on the fuselage temporarily. So instead of being blocked and going, what else could we do in the fuselage? We decided to dig into the first uh, section of the tail kit. So what, what blocked us in the fuselage? A couple of things. One of our firewall pieces was damaged in shipping, unfortunately, and it was not going to get to us until late in the weekend. No, Vans did really quickly look at the pictures I sent, confirmed with their engineering department that the firewall piece should be replaced and got it shipped out relatively quickly. Uh, and it did just arrive yesterday. We haven't opened the box. We probably should check to make sure it's in good shape. Yes. Last thing we want is another damaged half a firewall. Yep, because our firewall pieces were back ordered anyways. So it was a independent shipping that they shipped our two firewall pieces and our rudder pedals. And one of the firewall pieces was mangled um, pretty decently um, in shipping. So we emailed them and they sent us out another piece. So. <clears throat> kind of got as far as we could in the firewall until we needed the second firewall. Yeah, but we're ready to rock and roll back on the fuselage when we are ready to go that route. But right now we're having a lot of fun on the tail kit. Yeah. So we sat down. Now, granted, the tail kit, I think, is traditionally the first kit where uh, people start learning their skills. So doing that first section, if that was your first build, is probably a lot like us doing our first section of the fuselage, except for I think we had it worse. <laughs> um, but still, so I, I, I think people are still learning how to set up their shop, getting their tools set up, and, uh, and, and learning how to actually do things. We had a goal. Our goal was can we get through section six in one day? We were close. We came close. We got a lot done. We got the whole um, vert vertical stabilizer built. Um, we had to build it up once, match drill everything, take it apart, clean it up, deburr it, dimple, put it back together. Now we're ready to start setting all the rivets. So we've done everything except for a rivet the, the skin the, the skin on, which I guess is a pretty big part of the step. So maybe one day was way over zealous. I was really proud of the work that we were able to accomplish. So we did pretty good on it. So. Um, one and a half day build of the vertical stabilizer. We'll see. We've got a little bit more work to do. How uh, many sections are in the tail kit? I haven't looked. You're the section keeper. I don't know. So stay tuned as we get some parts of the tail kit built and more parts of the fuselage built. I think I like this switching back and forth a little bit. We're like building them together. Yes. Synchronized building. There will be a point in the fuselage kit where we have to get the tail kit finished. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to attach something that's not built. True. So, what did you find was pleasantly surprising or negatively surprising in the, the first section of the tail kit? I guess I didn't like how we basically put it all together and then took it all apart. In the fuselage, we did small parts. So it was easy to put together, take part, and then once that piece is ready, then you attach it to the next one, and then the next one. This one was like all of it, put it together, match drill everything, and then take it all apart. And it was just like, really? Couldn't break this up at all. 
Guess not. But uh, I kind of see why it was important. But yeah, I agree. It, it was frustrating. Also, we've been spoiled in the fuselage kit. No match drilling everything. Yeah. We did a lot more drilling in that one section than I think we've done in the whole fuselage kit to date. <laughs> <coughs> not a big deal. Um, am kind of interested in how setting these rivets are going to go. Mm -hmm. Some of them are pretty hard to reach, but we do, did buy some of the specialty bucking bars to get back in there. Uh, I, I think a lot of them are going to be pretty easy, but there's a few deep in there that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I will tell you, I think I'm definitely glad we did a quick build wing because I think the tail kit is uh, a lot better preparation for what the wing is like. I'm enjoying the fuselage kit so much. It's like, and I don't know what it is about the fuselage kit. It just makes sense. It's, um, it's challenging, but it's not over the top challenging. Yeah. So, well, looking forward to building more. Let's get back at it.